Tennis for Game Fishing is world renowned. It's, um, you know, from back in the uh, 80s and 90s, uh, it's some of the best grounds in the whole world for light tackle fishing. And, you know, people still hold that deer in their heart and they still want to be a part of that, you know. So it's pretty easy to, um, you know, put together a tournament and have people that are interested come and be involved. This is our 41st year of the comp and just that there just tells you the history behind it. So 41 years of a competition running, there's not a whole lot of events, especially North Queensland, then you narrow it down to Townsville where they've had 41 years of history just over and over and over. There's, you know, new fresh people coming in and the same, and, and um, guys fishing it over and over again. It shows you how highly regarded it is um, in the community and in the water, game fishing community up and down the east coast. Uh, to have people travel so far and just continually turn up to fish it, it's, it's pretty, pretty awesome. Yeah, I've lost count. Um, probably only missed probably five or six tournaments in the 40 years uh, here in Townsville. The biggest thing that stands out to me with this comp and the way the committee run this, it's family orientated. Like, there's a generation of committee members now running the comp. Their kids are coming through. They're fishing, they're out boating, you know, so you, know, you, can't, you can't sort of deny the family aspect there's a, you know, there's a lot of love, you know, there's a lot of, um, a lot of love in welcoming new boats and the guys that just keep coming back year in, year out. Twenty boats all registered to the comp. We've had uh, teams roll in from um, from Innisfail and up from uh, Ellie Beach and Mackay. So, you know, big shout out to those guys. It's unreal. Um, you know, some heavy weather for them to punch into. Weather's not looking top notch, could have been better, next week looks unreal, but um, it is what it is and everyone's going to get out there and, and get stuck into it. This Townsville Billfish comp is where it all starts for the season basically. My first memories of it is, you know, there's heaps of boats, people that haven't seen each other for the, you know, most part of the year, catching up again. Um, a lot of the, you know, a lot of the skippers sort of started about the same time as my dad. And this is where it all began. It was a cracker little, you know, light tackle comp. A lot more tag flags coming in. It was exciting to see. Heaps of kids, um, so much family involvement. It's good fun, usually good weather as well. But it was the start of what would, you know, be most people, you know, particularly my dad's like livelihood then for the next few months, traveling up north for the heavy tackle season. The social scene is always um, a guaranteed crowd pleaser. Uh, we love that about the club and uh, it, it's going to go ahead regardless. So it's not just a fishing comp, it is a social, social atmosphere, an environment where we all get to be together, catch up with people from out of town, meet new people, um, basically just share all things fishing on and off the water. For me it's, it's probably catching up with all the people. You know, you don't get to see these guys, uh, a lot of them for 12 months at a time. And on that 12 months, they, they roll in, in in whichever boat they're on, and uh, you get to catch up with everyone. And you know, on the prelude up to the comp, it's always great too. You know, catching up, having a few beers, and then you go out and fight it out, and you come back to these presentation nights and have a catch up and chin wag about all the fish seen and lost and what could have been. Um, but honestly, it's the people who turn up to it. That's that's what brings you back every time. Yeah. So um, you know. The last day we, we, we turned it up on its head and uh, thought we'd fish in waters that, uh, you, you know, all the, all the rule books say you shouldn't fish in dirty water, but, uh, you know, we fish in the dirty water in the shallows and produced a couple of fish, raised a couple of fish, um, you know, we tagged one, raised a couple of others, so yeah, that was good. So I fish with my husband, he's, he's the real fisherman, um, and I'm just along for the ride really. I do fish. I said to someone before, I said, I feel like Linda McCartney. Like, <laughs> I'm there, Paul McCartney's up there on stage with his band, and I'm Linda there with my tambourine. I'm just there along for the ride, <laughs> not doing too much. Everyone's got the, the passion and the love for the same sport, and um, I've got kids now that are um, stepping into the sharkies, um, and they were keen as soon as I said, hey, we get back into the fishing in Townsville, and I've got a 15 year old son who's just hanging to get his first marlin. So um, yeah, there was no hesitation, we joined straight up as soon as we got back here. Yeah. The call was crazy, but um, 
We invest a lot into what we do and uh, it's just an, it's an absolute passion. We'll, we'll put up with it and we'll, the hunt, it's all about trying to find those fish and um, yeah, the, everyone's driven with this passion of uh, game fishing. The weather was pretty appalling out there. We got hit by squalls, we got hit by rain, you know, the seas were massive, rollers coming in everywhere. Um, the fishing was tough. A lot of the time you couldn't see your baits, uh, you couldn't see much uh, with all the white water and that, but it's just a passion we all have. So we all go out there and uh, we're invested in this sport. We love our game fishing and everyone's driven for the competition and the passion of the actual sport itself. This club and this comp is so special and it's so impressive. You see how many events we've run, uh, everything from the kids' days, the ladies' days, the big one uh, that we just finished, the Bookers Challenge, and then with the Barabash and a few other comps. It was such a action-packed club. We've got events on all the time. There's always something happening, and that couldn't happen without all the people just chipping in, helping out, and, and making all the, all the big jobs a lot smaller. It's, it's pretty impressive to, to watch it all, all unfold.